This morning, new concerns over President Trump's visit to Kenosha, Wisconsin, a city still reeling from the police shooting of Jacob Blake and the deadly violence that followed. Presidents and, and are always welcome in the community, but the timing, I think, is not really a very good timing. Wisconsin's governor sending a letter to the president Sunday, writing in part, I am concerned your presence will only hinder our healing. The president, who's under fire for using violence in Kenosha and other cities to rally his supporters, is expected to survey damage and meet with law enforcement on Tuesday. The White House says it's humbled by outreach from Kenosha residents who have welcomed the president's visit. No justice! Over the weekend, a peaceful scene here as hundreds joined the Blake family for a rally demanding justice. Now the union representing Kenosha police is taking a stronger stance, defending the officers involved, laying out what they are calling undisputed facts about the shooting. The union says the officers responded to a complaint that Blake was trying to steal the caller's keys and vehicle. They add Blake was non-compliant when officers issued verbal commands and then he put one of the officers in a headlock. My son didn't ask them to shoot him. He didn't do anything to provoke being shot. Across the country, Blake's shooting has inflamed racial tensions that have been simmering all summer. In Washington, D.C., five people were arrested this weekend after police used tear gas on protesters. In Tallahassee, Florida, a crowd at a Black Lives Matter protest can be seen scattering after the city says a man documenting the event clashed with protesters displaying his registered gun. In Portland, Oregon, a man was shot and killed amid the unrest. Hours before, a caravan of the president's supporters faced off against counter-protesters in the city. The leader of the far-right group Patriot Prayer says the victim was a supporter. It's unclear if the shooting was connected to the protests. Here in Kenosha, police say the majority of the people arrested over the past week have been from out of town from 44 different cities.